Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google recently launched Anti-Gravity. It has been good on its own, but it suffered from a lot of the rate limits that Google imposed over the tool in order to keep it free. This meant that even if you had Google's $20 or $200 subscription, you received no benefit when using Anti-Gravity. That was a big bummer. But now, Google has fixed this issue. Even on the free tier, the rate limits seem to be better now because the load is currently less. And for the free tier, it has received a new model, which is quite expensive if you were to pay for it separately. I'm going to show you how you can get some insane results with anti-gravity, whether you're on the free tier or even on the paid plan. So, as I said, Google has now made the rate limits better for the pro users. The limits now refresh every five hours for the pro users. They have also updated the limits for free users as well, and it also now refreshes more quickly. It is not revealed exactly how much limit one gets, but I think that it would be better than before. However, the rate limits seem to be better across the board for all kinds of users. Now. If I open it up here, then one of the major new features to mention is that it now supports Claude 4.5 Opus. It supports Opus on both the free tier as well as the Pro and Ultra tiers. It gives you almost the same limit with Opus as the limit with Gemini 3. This means that you can use it for free here with quite good limits. If you have watched my previous Gemini 3 Plus Opus video, then you'd know that this enables a lot of capabilities. You can use Gemini 3 for front-end and Opus 4.5 for back-end, planning, and even debugging as it's really good. You can almost use Opus without very hard limits. I am on the free tier, and considering that I am a mid-tier user in terms of usage, I almost hit no limits. Remember that on the free tier, your prompts and responses will be used for training. So, there's that. Another thing that it now has is Nano Banana Pro support. So, it can now also generate asset images for your projects as well and make more cohesive applications. But anyway, let me show you how it all works and how you should go about using it. The demo that I'll show you now is fully based on a free account and I want to emphasize that you can really use the free tier here for a ton of things. If you have watched my Gemini 3 Plus Opus video, then most of the stuff told here will be more of an adaptation for anti-gravity. But there are some more new things that I have added to that workflow as well. So, first of all, once you open anti-gravity, you'll have two ways to use it, which are the agent manager and the side pane option. I highly recommend the side pane option, as that is less buggy, is better than the agent manager, and I like it. You get most features here anyway. So, now, what I'll recommend you do is use Opus 4.5 for planning. In the plan, ask Opus to bifurcate the steps or tasks into front-end and back-end categories. You can then ask Gemini 3 Pro to work on the front-end tasks and Opus to work on the back-end tasks. If you encounter any bugs later on, then I'll recommend you use Opus 4.5 to fix them. So, to start first, you'll need to give it any of your tasks. While giving it the task, ask it to bifurcate the tasks to execute into front-end and back-end. Make sure that you structure the tasks so that the back-end tasks can be implemented first, followed by the front end. Number the back end tasks as B1 and so on, while numbering the front end tasks as F1 and so on. This will start to create the plan for you. This works in both cases. If you need to work with existing code, then you can put your feature request in. If you know that it's just back end, then you can roll with just Opus. But otherwise, if the feature request just requires front-end changes, then you can roll with Gemini. 
or if it requires both the back end and front end, then use this same method for that as well. Once the plan is made, you can easily change the model to something like Opus to implement the back end, and you can change the model to Gemini to implement the front end. You can also use 4.5 Sonnet, but Gemini is just way better at front end than any model currently, and it gives me really good results. So, this is quite good. For the initial plan, you'd have to select the planning mode. Then you can change it to fast mode so that it directly tackles the task. But if you don't want to do that, then you can just use planning mode for them as well, and then implement it. It will take a bit more time, but it will get you better results, because it will, like, do proper detailed planning for each task. If you just want the best results overall, then I'd recommend you roll with Opus. I am really glad that Google is currently providing it even on the free tier. And if you're a student, then you get 18 months of Gemini AI Pro for free, and you can really get some good results with it. Many people would also already have the Google subscription because you get it with the Pixel phones or a student email. Many people also already pay for Google Cloud Storage which includes it as well. So, this is a really good option. One more new option is the Nano Banana Pro. So basically, if your app requires an image to be added, then it can autonomously go ahead and generate images, save them in your repo, and then reference them in the code accordingly. So, it is also a good option, and all this is included within the limit as well. This comes in handy at a lot of places when you want to make an icon or maybe a banner image or something. That is kind of cool as well. I like it. You can also use the agent panel if you can get the hang of it. I think that the agent panel is very underdeveloped. It has many bugs and is very unreliable at the moment. But the side panel is good and works well as it is quite well developed mainly because it is mostly taken from Windsurf. But this is a great free tool that is worth it. Many people in the comments were asking me for a good option that is free, and I think that this is free, and the limits are sustainable for the long term. That is majorly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.